beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kat and you are watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the ways that you can help plan your way to a calmer life. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my Sunday reset planner routine. And what I do is I have a Sunday reset checklist. And this is something that I use every week just to let me uh, to help me stay on track with what I need to get done. So I go through this list and uh, it just helps me get prepared for the week ahead. So first things first, I'm going to check off a couple things with you because some things have been done and I love checking things off the list. Comment down below and let me know if you're the same. Do you like checking things off the list as well? So first things first is uh, my Bible routine and I just finished my Bible routine. I have a Bible routine that I have on an app that I follow. My husband and I, but we both have our Bible plans and we do one together. And so I have that so I can check that off the list. And also my time with God, that feels really good to uh, have that accomplished. I call my mom or I called my mom earlier today. So that's good. And then we're gonna get, move on to a uh, weekly setup in my planners. And so when it comes to setting things up in my planner, I really like to uh, tackle my weekly schedules. To just kind of give my, my planners just a little bit of personality. You don't have to. I mean, part of the Sunday Reset is to make things simple <laughs> and easy for you. So if you're kind of like, girl, man, that is just way too much for me. I hear you. I hear you. It should not be too much work. It should be something that's quick and easy and fun. But for me, this doesn't add any extra. Oops. This doesn't add any extra to my plate. And I like the pretty colors. <laughs> I love the pretty colors of washi. When I first started planning, I didn't really understand the vibe of washi. I was like, what is that? Is it tape? Is it like, what is it? But of course, <laughs> over the years, I've come to understand, love and use washi. And it's, it's a great, it's a great thing. I love washi tape. So I'm going to reach in and I'm going to see if I can pull a sticker. And again, these are just extras, folks. You definitely do not have to do this but I like to in my planners. It's just what I like to do. Then I'm gonna write out my work schedule. And so, like I said, my work schedule, pretty easy peasy, but I like to just kind of write down the things that I have to get done, any deadlines, anything like that. Right now it's crunch time because it's coming to the end of the term. So I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna quickly jot all that information in here and then I will get back to it. Okay, so this is my completed week ahead for my work schedule. It's busy, but it's not too, too busy. I got a lot of to-dos to accomplish and uh, keep track of, but it uh, it's coming down to the end of the term and things are, you know, kind of hopping and bopping. So again, I like to add a little bit of washi tape and just make it a little bit pretty. And I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna add a little bit of embellishments and yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my work planner. So now what I can do is I can come back to my to-do list and I can check that off because that is done. Whoops, I checked off the wrong one. I'm actually gonna move on to this one here, which is set up my weekly planner. Prepping for April 24th to the 30th. Again, can't believe we are <laughs> in the home stretch of a another month ending but it is it feels good it feels good i'm glad that summer is coming spring is coming and it just feels like things are really really good right now and so i'm just going to drop some washi here and kind of sprucing up our house we sustained a hurricane last fall and so there's it literally stripped <laughs> the paint off of 
our house. So I'm kind of going through and trying to research colors and the style of paint and supplies, things like that, so that we can get that uh, taken care of and repainted. I will be painting. Uh, we got quotes and everything, but boy, people, man, it is so expensive. <laughs> my, my husband and I got the quotes. We were like, what? For paint? What? Uh, it is just so expensive to do anything. Let me know down below. I mean, no disrespect to those in the biz because I, I, I understand your labor is important. But wow, like supplies are expensive and just everything is so expensive. And it's just really, really difficult. And not only is it expensive, but it's also so difficult, at least in my area, to find someone who can do the work for you. So if you don't know how to do something, trying to find a contractor or someone to help you with it is it is really tough. It's really, really tough. So we have been searching and looking and trying to find people who can help us with it. And it's just been a process, we'll say. But uh, I mean, very, very happy. Very, very happy with uh, what we're able to accomplish and do. So, I mean, if we have to pay a little extra, and we just got to do what we got to do. So I'm going to fill out my weekly planner in my Hobonichi and then we'll come on back and tackle that list. Okay, so this is my completed weekly for the week ahead and not so bad. I was a little bit anxious thinking about all the things I had to do, but once you lay it all out and kind of get it down on paper, it feels so much better. And so that's what the Sunday Reset is all about. It's really about kind of taking the things that are kind of circling on your head, brain dumping it out, making your list, getting things checked off and feeling great. And so that's what I'm doing. And it just feels so much better. And now I feel like the week ahead doesn't feel so daunting. And so, yeah, I can check off a lot of the things that I have to do. And it goes back to my list. And my pen is where? <laughs> oh, is this it? Is this what I was using? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to update my exercise log because it's pretty much same old. I did my menu planning, which I do just right in my Hobonichi and then organize the laundry. I did that. Tidy the kitchen. I do that on Saturday. So I make sure I get it checked off for Sunday so I can check that off. Tidy the bathrooms. Did that. Change the sheets. So I like to have it going into the week with fresh new sheets. I made my grocery list already. I paid my bills and uh, I don't have any appointments this week. I don't have any events this week. I put in my husband's basketball schedule and I completed my uh, social media planner in my, I won't even show you because it's just so much there, <laughs> but I have that all squared away and ready to go. So there you have it. I have my Sunday reset all squared away and good to go. I have my work planner completed and I show this off camera, but I have my journaling for uh, my therapy. I have that and it's all squared away and I can just sit back, relax and enjoy my tea. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here, folks. I hope you enjoy and I hope this was helpful. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a and don't forget to come back for more planner and planner related videos, organization videos in the queue. Lots more coming your way on this channel. So I want to thank you so, so much for being here. And until the next time, my friends, take care, be well, and be blessed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, planner peeps. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of bird.
with my appetite. 